Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've picked up a damn camera and edited something and uploaded it here. So today I basically created this look for you. I don't know what I'm gonna call this, but whatever. I tried out a few new things that ended up turning out very nicely, but if you wanna see different tips, I actually show you how I put on my fake eyelashes, so you should like watch the whole thing if you want to see it. Uh, so yeah, I really missed this and I'm hoping to do more in the future. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's enough rambling. Let's just get right into the video. Today I'm going to start off with Maybelline Master Prime Face Primer. This is the Blur and Smooth one. And I really, really like this because... It just makes your skin look so amazing. Like a little bit goes a long way. So I just start from like this area with all my pores because that's the main area where I want to be blurred and smoothed and just all primed. But then I like bring it down and like rub it into the rest of my skin. Obviously with clean fingers. And then I just apply this everywhere including the nose because makeup always tends to fall off like on my nose and patch and just doesn't sit well there so with that I'm gonna let my primer sink in and we can start with the eyes so I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand and just start priming the lids and then taking my Dampened Real Technique sponge, I'm just gonna blend that in. Nice. Okay. So then I have a not so new palette. Like it's, it didn't launch recently, but it is new to me. I've used it a few times. It's the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. And I'm very excited to put this to the full test because as we can see, I've only used like a few shades like in this area right here. So I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take the shade Peach Butter and set my lids. Definitely recommend this palette for people who love those like peachy colors because it's very, very pretty and just has all the right shades. Like the perfect brown peachy neutrals. I'm gonna put a hat on, I swear. Can't wait. Um, so I'm going to start with the shade Peaches and Cream and mix it with the shade Just Peachy. And I'm just using the Anastasia blending brush to do this. These shadows also do not have a ton of fallout either. And as we can see, so far they blend out very nicely. Really, really effortless. Even if you want to just swipe one or two colors in the crease and go, you totally could because they're such natural everyday colors. Also, if you know me, you know that I blend my eyeshadow for like 25 years. So, um, if I'm just gonna cut out all the blending. I always decide to film on days where my hair is ugly. I don't understand. I'm gonna regret all my life decisions later. I'm just gonna use the same exact Anastasia brush um, and dip into the shade Fresh Picked. To deepen things up and add more of a red, like peachy orange. I don't know, it's like a darker tone. A lot of people have asked me what really good like blending techniques are, and I think just doing whatever works for you. Like for me, I blend everything, like I pick up my colors on the blending brush and I just blend everything out using the same exact brush the whole time. I know it's like a foreign concept for some people, but for me, that's what works. And then I'll like just go about blending out anything else and end with a cleaner blending brush if that makes any sense at all. So if you try it and you like it then keep doing that but for me I'm very I need to apply it and then blend it and then apply it and blend it that's how everything like I see it come out together if that makes sense like everything is just like it's very gradient do you know what I mean? Peach Cobbler and Peach Sangria on the outer corner. And 
I'm just applying it and then taking the same blending brush we used before and blending it all together. Because it looks like ridiculous right now, but I promise you we are not done. And I'm just blending out in that area. I'm not blending like too far in to the crease. I mean like the inner corner area. I'm like trying to keep the mirror down so you can see how I'm blending, but I don't think that's working out for either of us. Okay, so it's very like pink gradient the way I want it to be. So now I'm going to go in and take a yellow shade by NYX, but none of my brushes are clean, so this is going to be an experiment for everybody. Do not know what it's called. I'm just gonna place that on like the inner part here, like on the outside, right there. Because it creates like this nice, really, really gorgeous sunset effect, but everything's still blended. I actually like that a lot. Wow. Who knew I could be so creative? Because these are all mattes. Um, I'm dipping into the Anastasia palette now. And I'm taking the shade Primavera and just setting that on the inner like part of my eyelid. If that makes any sense to you. Like just a little bit. And then over top of it, I'm going to take a MAC single shadow called Expensive Pink. That way we still have some of the gold undertone underneath, but also a pink shimmer type of a thing going. I promise I'm going to blend it if it looks ridiculous. Uh, not on that brush. On the other end of the Anastasia brush. And I'm taking that shade and just popping that right over top and blending in. Literally, my friend Denise bought me this shade. Shout out to you because I love you, Denise, if you're watching. Um, I will link her channel below. She is like literally fabulous and I'm obsessed with her. And you will be too, so please go check her out. Go watch her. Um, so that is that. And then I'm going to take... I need fake eyelashes. Okay. I'm gonna use my Kiss Poise, and I'm not using any of the ones that I have previously used because I don't have time to peel off glue. So I have one lash on, and I think it just makes all the difference already. Then I'm just waiting for this one to dry and get tacky. I'm gonna explain how I put fake eyelashes on because I feel like nobody does. All the beauty gurus, they just like, let the glue get tacky and then just go. Give me five minutes! So what I do is I put it down in the middle and then I like press it on the end and then I press it on the inner corner and then I pinch the lashes together so that it like stays together if that makes sense apologies in advance because the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover i am so sorry <laughs> anyways i took my maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 15 which is i'm pretty sure the shade fair and i basically just blended it out um super light layer of coverage on my skin because i didn't need that much coverage i just focused it mainly underneath my eyes on my nose and under the chin and i blended that out with a dampened real techniques sponge and after that what am i doing now oh yeah i think i'm setting my face oh right no i used the elf <laughs> liquid highlighter um, just on my cheekbones and then I took the fit me powder in the shade 115 I'm pretty sure it's the hydrate and smooth powder and I just used that all over the face for some extra coverage and then I was paranoid about the inner corner of my lash so I just touched that up with a little bit of lash glue so now I just took some of my Nivea lip balm because my lips were feeling dry and then I took 
my Kat Von D shade and light palette to contour and sculpt out my face. And so, of course, I focused it, obviously, on my cheekbones and my jawline and, of course, on the temples. So, basically, after I was done contouring and sculpting the face, I took a flat brush and I grabbed a yellow tone or one of the peachy colors. I typically mix those two together and set my under eyes to brighten up the area. Now, I am taking the Rimmel stay matte i'm pretty sure that's what it's called yeah the rimmel stay matte liquid lip colors and this one is in the shade be my baby it's a very pretty neutral kind of peachy color if that makes any sense at all and i think it goes perfectly with this look this was my first time using this product and i loved the applicator and all that stuff and i think it tied the look together at the end of the video i ended up putting on the red lip just to show you guys so that's why in the outro i'm wearing a red lip and now so we can glow to the gods i'm just taking my wet n wild highlighting powder in the shade precious petals to highlight the high points of my face So that's basically it. I hope I answered a lot of your questions because I know a lot of people ask me like how I blend or what products I use and these are my recent favorite products basically combined into one look. So yeah, I hope y'all love this. So that's the end of the video. I really hope that you loved it as much as I did because I think this is a very easy glam look for like every day or going to school or if you're going to like see your man or whatever you know or like whatever if you're going out i don't know it's just a nice look i guess you can pair it with a red lip like i did right now or a neutral lip like i did before during the day um what else do i have to say oh yeah like and subscribe if you liked this obviously and if you want to see more of my face next time i decide to upload i hope you are having a wonderful day because you are a wonderful person and i will see you in my next video bye